Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna be doing the promised terminal tutorial video. If you're sitting there going, what the f is a terminal? Then you are going to have a rough ride. So I would highly suggest watching my video explaining what's going on. You can click here to do that. And yes, I did just only learn how to do that. Wait, really? Look, it's it's not as easy as you think it is. Oh, anyway, moving on. Don't you just click add cart? I said moving on. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a basic strategy. It's not gonna be good. Like. Don't get your hopes up. It's going to be a shit strategy, to be honest. If you think that I'm going to give away my tea towel winning strategy, then you are vastly mistaken. You must be new here. If so, like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Tutorial time. First, you're going to want to head over to their website and you're going to want to download the starter kit. I'm pretty sure there's one just on their homepage. So yeah, and everything's pretty much explained in the readme, but that, as the name suggests, involves reading. So we're closing that. Okay, so we're going to be implementing a really simple algorithm today basically going to be the hello world of terminal algorithms. Wait, I got an idea. We're going to literally do hello world. Okay, here we go. First, you're going to want to open the algos folder. And then this folder right here is the folder that we're going to want to change. So just rename that to whatever you want to call your algorithm. And open her up and let's get started. You're going to want to edit the algo strategy Python file. So yeah, just open in your favorite text editor or you could just open it with the default Python IDE. This is probably a good point to say that I'm expecting you guys to know kind of how to code in Python. You don't need to know how to hack into the International Space Station or anything, but you should know the basics. If you don't know, you can just search on YouTube how to Python and there'll be just tons of videos. Uh, so yeah, sorry, back to it. So the default algorithm actually looks pretty similar to what we're going to do. So I could just change a few things here or there, but that would be a pretty terrible tutorial video. So let's get rid of all this shit. There are actually two functions that we want to keep on game start and on turn. 10 points for anyone who guesses what they do. Oh, I know. I know. On game start is called at the start of the game and on turn is called every turn. Wow. Congratulations. You win an invitation to shut the f*** up. <laughs> Um, yeah, obviously you need to change what happens in on turn. On, on game start, we can leave as is. The game state variable stores all information relative to the current state of the game and also is how we actually place information units and firewalls into the game. So yeah, we, we're going to want to keep that. That's pretty important. The second line is just a fancy print statement. So when you're testing your algorithms, anything you print will print in a console below the game. So let's change that to something more appropriate. Okay, so the final line just calls the function which actually runs your strategy. Okay, now we are ready to start coding our own strategy. It's probably about time I tell you what we're actually doing here. We're gonna be placing firewalls on the board in the shape of the words, hello world. So first we're gonna to need to know all the matrix positions of all the points that we will need to spell hello world. There are a few ways to do this. The first is to just to look at the diagram showing the grid positions and get all the appropriate positions from that. The second is you go onto their website onto the play tab and then click by hand. That will show you the grid and will tell you the position the mouse is over. The third and final way, if you're truly amazing, what you could do is you could create a program to help design the pattern that you want then prints out the matrix positions that you will need then you could release this program to your followers so they could easily design their own algorithm that final way is only for the super elite so i just actually did the second way i'm, I'm kidding I, I meant a thing just design what you want press p to get a list of the matrix positions too easy so let's design the hello world thing it's actually pretty hard to fit hello world on the board so this is as close as i could get i know it's world hello but come on give, give me a break I'm, I'm doing my best here and press p and beautiful Actually, we want hello to appear before world, so let's just get hello and world separately. So now we have the positions. Let's add them to our code. Now for each position in the word hello that we want to place a firewall, we want to first test if we can place a firewall in that position. We're actually going to be placing filters. Filters are the cheapest and most basic firewall. Then if we can place it, we then attempt to place it by calling attempt spawn. This will place the filter if we can. So this should place filters in positions to print out the word hello. Now let's do the same thing for the word world. Very nice. Okay, so that's pretty much the algorithm done, as long as I didn't mess up. And trust me to fuck up Hello World, but... Okay, to test out the algorithm, you're going to need to upload the zip of this folder to the website. There is actually a way of using PowerShell to run the algorithm so you don't have to upload it every time, but that's too much to cover in this tutorial. And I also don't know how to do that. <laughs> so to upload them, first navigate to the folder which we renamed, and then send it to a zip folder. There we go. Now go to the website and go to my algos tab. Click on one of the empty units and navigate to the zip folder. Then once you uploaded it, test your algorithm by going to the play tab, selecting the algorithm, then choosing one of the bosses to play against. And ready? Oh, hell yeah. Very nice. Bloody nailed it. So there are three different types of firewalls, filters, encryptors, and destructors. So if you wanted to place encryptors instead of filters, just replace the word filter with encryptor in the can spawn and attempt spawn. Then you've got a hello world built with encryptors. 
Simple shit. Okay, let's make this a little more competitive and maybe a little more fabulous. Information units can only be spawned on your edge. So let's get out our handy terminal position designer matrix thing, TM. And let's just get all the positions of our edges and then boom, we got them. So now we're just gonna need to store them in a variable and we're gonna want to continue to spawn pings, which are the cheapest information unit at random points on the edge until we are out of bits, which is the resource used to make information units. So while we have enough bits to spawn a ping, get a random position from the edges and then attempt to spawn a ping there. Okay, that should do it. That should give us some random pings scattered around the place, make it look fabulous, make it look beautiful. I dig it, let's test it out. Boom, works like a charm, oh yeah. And that's it for my tutorial. I hope it helps, it probably didn't. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Also, if you wanna check out all the functions which you can use to get information about the game state and change the game itself, then you can check out the documentation, which is in your algorithms folder under documentation. Let's go ahead and click on index to open up the HTML file. It shows you everything you can use to write your kick-ass algorithm. But yeah, please do remember that yours will always be subpar to mine. <laughs> I'm hyping mine up so much, it's just gonna be shit. <laughs> yeah, this will be the last video about the competition, so after this will be kind of business as usual with Hill Climb Racing Part 3 coming out soonish. Uh, emphasis on the ish. Anyway, I hope to see you there. Uh, happy coding, yeah. That's a good outro, nailed it.